came out and said something that I thought was a great move on his part. I, a few weeks ago, he said uh, that the abortion thing should be four months. Um, he didn't really give a good reason. He's like, yeah, I like four months. It's a round number. But um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, not, not great seems substance seems there. Good. But I think he's right because I think it should be three to four months after that, not allowed unless there's a health um, is issue with the pregnancy. But I think anybody who thinks that it should never be okay under any circumstances, I think that's psychotic and completely wrong. The fact that some states are trying to do that, not cool with that. So I think that that's the position for Trump to take strategically. So you're, you're basically saying four months, okay. Other than that, the only exceptions are life of the mother, and that's it. Or health of the kid if it's going to come out unhealthy okay. or something. You know, that's something the parents decide on. Uh, anyone object to his opinion on this? Amy? Yeah, I do. Let's go to Laura has her hand up. Let's go to Laura. <laughs> go ahead. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Laura. Never in any circumstance, when it's the life of the mother, does killing the kid help the mother? You just you deliver the child, yes. if that's the case. Killing the baby... <clears throat> does not do anything. So that just, just get that out of your head. I'm not it's saying not, life of the mother, though. I'm saying the health of the, of the pregnancy. Health of the baby? Yeah. So then again, so there's a chance that the baby could come out unhealthy. So I'm going to factor in it's better for me to kill the baby than for there to be a chance for them to be okay. Which, by the way, my nephew a couple years ago was born, and when, he, when my sister-in-law was pregnant, they thought that he had the uh, T... Thirteen. What is the oh, tri 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 Yeah, try. He, yeah, he tri didn't, and he was fine. But you what, know why what, they were? What is, huh? What? What is that? What was the? It's Look, it's it, fatal. It, it, okay. It's, yep. it's, it's fatal. Sometimes you know, it's mm -hmm. like one of these things where it is or it isn't. The baby mm -hmm. could um, not have like a long life, whatever. The mm -hmm. point is, mm -hmm. it's one of these things that they take tests early on. They tell you that, yeah. and then they're there pushing you, going, make a decision, make a decision, make the kid is. Perfect, beautiful mm -hmm. child, has nothing absolutely wrong with him. But th they make you get all these tests in the beginning because they freak you out with, he, what, what if the baby dies? Mm -hmm. What if the baby dies? There's either a what if the baby dies or a I'm certain the baby's going to die because I'm going to make sure of that. So this idea of the health of the mom or the health of the baby, the answer is never death it is never death nope. all right so, so let me uh, propose this so, one though so like i mean that's a great story and i get that that's like that's well, why i say it's up to the parent but what about the situation where somebody who's just getting by on money and they have the situation where the kid might have this debilitating disease where it's going to cost thousands of dollars over the course of their life to maintain their health what's up it's Hello. still not okay to kill the kid <laughs> it's the, the, the things that you're according saying. to who though like just your opinion according why, why to can't the murder that? according to murder brandon you're saying that it's okay because the kid might have a not ideal life which again they could overcome these circumstances they mm -hmm. can if they're given a chance they can if mm -hmm. you kill them they don't i mean i don't that argument is so false if you're saying the word i'm gonna kill the kid mm -hmm. so you're knowing that it's a child and so you say four months and everybody has their different what Okay, we it's don't four, have... it's this, it's that. If you don't have a hardcore, when you believe the magic happens, what I said last mm -hmm. time, if you don't have one, I do. Science does know, like what you said. The doctor a while ago didn't know. They know now. You have a different gene when conception happens, and there's a new life there. Okay, if you don't want to go by that, fine. Then let's say, whatever, pick your four months. But after four months, the kid you find out is going to have whatever XYZ issues that you're talking about. So at that point because they're going to have a maybe not optimal life, I should kill them then? I mean, it's just, if murder is wrong, it's wrong. always we don't, wrong. It's wrong. Period. We don't have the it's, luxury to choose designer children. I have a daughter who has a one in a million disease where her immune system breaks mm -hmm. her bones. Mm -hmm. um, had I known she was going to have that when I was pregnant with her and that it was going to cost a lot of money, mm -hmm. um, I... Mm -hmm. I would not have killed her mm, like that. Yeah. And she's in remission, by the way. She went to remission in August. But that was years and years of, of coping with that. And also to your point mm -hmm. about health of the mother, because this is what you always hear, health of the mother. Mm -hmm. Can you name a situation where the health of the mother would need the baby to die in order for the mother to be healthy? Just one. You know no. what that is? You know what it is? What? In Colorado, they talked about this. Up to 34 weeks, a woman can go into a abortion clinic and say that they're just not mentally mentally healthy. It's mental I can't health. Mentally they're not take this. I can't. On right so now. you're going to have to kill the baby because it's going to be better for my mm -hmm. mental health to deliver a dead baby because you have to go through labor. You have to you feel still. the labor. It would be better for my mental health to deliver the dead baby than to deliver an alive one. So that, the health yes. of the mother is that basically is a left wing talking point. Yes. And, and the, the, and the that point phrase is, is being monopolized. Yes. And the point is, it's a slippery slope because mm -hmm. mental health, we already know how wackadoo mental health is. You got yeah. transgender saying that they're seasonally transgender. <laughs> so that means in the fall, I'm a boy. And in the winter, I'm a girl. And in the spring, guess what? I'm non-binary. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we can play that game. 
then mental health, I can do it to 40 weeks. I can show up there and say, ooh, that needle for the epidural, that's scary. I don't want to do that. Mental health, mental health, just kill it. What is that? Yep. We yeah. have to live in truth. If it's death, if it's murder, it's murder. All the time, it's bad, period. So you disagree mm -hmm. with the, um, the exceptions after the four months more than the four-month block of time? Again, it like I, okay, what I'm saying birth. is zero murder ever, never, don't kill anybody Not ever for any raped, reason. Unless like it's death penalty, I'm we're going in a different direction. But these innocent children have nothing to do with whether their father raped them, which the degenerate father has nothing to do with a child. Mm -hmm. Whether, what's the other one, incest? Yeah. The, so, the child has nothing to do with what the less parents Less than 1% of all abortions yeah. are and rape and incest. Right. The rest of them are... One, well, how about this, though? 1%. There's 150 million orphans in the world, and, the, and there a lot of people who are terrible parents are having kids, so... Why I not don't get agree with that. I don't want people to open their legs and get pregnant. This is the problem. We have a yeah, morality it's, it's problem. We have a though. morality problem that everybody is accidentally getting pregnant. There is one way to get pregnant, and I promise you... Dealing with infertility, it is not an accident. There are not millions of broken condoms. This is just it is people that are just being are irresponsible. irresponsible. Yeah. And we're not going to change the paradigm, and we're not going to fix the culture by a band-aid solution of just encouraging mm. women to just get abortions. Killing it's kids. only through what what yes. Laura is talking about here, what Josie is talking about here, that we're actually going to see a correction on this issue. So of, here's what I want to do right now: if uh, you were the president, real quick, sentence or two, what would your law be? If you were the king of America, hypothetically, what would your law be? I'm a states rights libertarian, so I would leave it to each of the 50 states. So if you were in a state that was like, hey, abortion through 30, 34 weeks or whatever, you get the hell out of that state and you go to a state that says absolutely no Got abortion. Mm -hmm. States rights. States rights. Bingo. Laura, President Padrino, go ahead. Uh, I'm a little bit more, call it extreme, call it whatever. At the same way that murder is wrong, I wish we would view murdering a child as murder. I don't, abortion is just a different way of saying, I am murdering my child. Mm -hmm. Put all the different reasons on it. Mm -hmm. I just wish the mm -hmm. same way that it is wrong everywhere to murder your child, to murder your uh, your born child, it is wrong to mor bur murder your child in the womb. Period. That's it, how I would be. Is, is this there a debate is, of when a child is actually a child? No. This is Adam, my we've gone personal through this. opinion. Second, like, Conception. The okay. But the, mm -hmm. here's the thing. But a lot of people debate that, Laura. Okay. <laughs> the day no you have sex? No, it's can, actually, you can get pregnant. It takes about two days to get pregnant. Okay, okay but the point, conception is conception. Conception right. is not sex. But the point is that if um, you're saying that there, there's like debate and all this kind of stuff, there isn't debate with, again, I've said this before. I come mm. in and I go pop. There, nobody is questioning that. And so it just goes back to like Laura, the parents or how the child. There's a big difference between an actual live human gun Ooh. shooting and, a, 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 and a, an embryo that hasn't even... Tell that to a mother who's yet. lost yes. a child in the womb. Tell that to a mother who loves that child. You can't. She can feel it kicking. She like th There's a heartbeat on the screen. That's yeah. That I is said, a lie. Though, By the whether, said, whether or not you the, can the, see the, it, the, whether no or not you yet. can see it and it's not manifest as self-evident no reality in no, front of your eyes doesn't so diminish the fact that that is a lie. There is. By the way, there is a heartbeat. There is a heartbeat. Like five weeks. So all that. I'm saying at one minute. So what? Is, so what is it that you're talking about? Then that's not a. Uh, you not don't even, even know that you are. Exactly. No, don't say it's not an embryo. So it is an embryo. So, so is the morning after pill illegal? Okay. Yeah. Morning it, after pill is. Uh, after it takes, like I said, it takes about two days to get pregnant. So you take the morning after pill. You're not so pregnant. The morning yet. after. You're, you're, yeah, the yes, morning after. Yes and no. But at the same time, we it, are. Should so, the morning after pill be illegal? I don't want it because here's the thing. So the I morning think, after wow. should be illegal. I before think, a woman is even pregnant. <laughs> listen, it's it's still. How contradictory it, are we guys? No, it's yeah, not. I don't, I don't think that's no, a contradiction, this, especially not of her values. Guys, this is guys. This is I don't believe it is because I don't believe I believe that what it does it what it does it gets in there. And it creates a hostile yes. situation, so you can't yes. have a baby. And there's so, so, the, right so the, <laughs> sperm, <laughs> the sperm is on its way. It's up there. It's okay. like, hey, I'm gonna go Do find that egg, and then it listen. It can't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, fine. And it, again, I've, I just said this. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to speak nuance. I'm here to be black and white mm -hmm. because I believe abortion is murder. Abortion is a fancy way of saying we're killing our kids. Mm -hmm. I think what is disgusting is that they are putting them in uh, uh, morning after pills in little baskets in bathrooms, that there's vending machines, that we're spraying them out in parades. It, that is degenerate to me. That is saying, you guys make bad decisions, but here, go you just take but this. To be and fair, it's our biological it's imperative to reproduce, so, though, so it's not as easy set, uh, done as it is said to not have sex with people. What would, what it, would, excuse me, hold on. It's not as easy easy to just not have sex with people why are we savages and animals i have to sleep with everybody or everything you we have to be a little bit more responsible there is yeah. I, I this idea yeah. of i just 
I I gotta have sex. You no, know, you have to. You, if you know, no, you're gonna have people though. People are gonna make bad decisions. I mean, yeah, I agree. People need to be more responsible. Bad but there's irresponsible people have out there. Consequences. All of them do. Yeah. I, like I there's said, there's 150 the million of them right now that are orphans. People. The consequences look different for different people. Again, I sound super old school, but the fact is, baseline morality says. Killing your kid is wrong. And when you have an action, a mm -hmm. bad action, it's going to have a consequence. Now, the consequence could be a child, which is a beautiful thing, or to you, it's a terrible thing that you want to kill. But I'm just saying people have to be way more responsible. It's not an accident to get pregnant. It's irresponsible to do it if you're not ready. What mm -hmm. uh, Ron Paul says, and that's he's a he's a famous uh, Republican, yeah. but libertarian. libertarian. I love libertarian. Yeah, libertarian. Yeah, well, I he love ran Ron as a Republican, Paul. as I'm right. saying. Yes. Right, right, right. Adore him. Yeah. He was a, uh, a gynecologist, and he delivered 3,000 babies. He's including mm -hmm. Selena. He, he delivered Selena, the singer. He's the singer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Um, um, so his idea, he always was, you know, a little pro-choice until he saw mm -hmm. one of these abortions and mm -hmm. the baby, and he described it in his book, and it, he described the baby. It was mm -hmm. three pounds. Mm -hmm. Baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and they just left it in a medical waste sink. Oh, yeah. You know, this so so this, so this his idea is that abortion should not be illegal. It should be unthinkable. We It that. should be... That. So immorally unthinkable that. that we don't even need a law for it. Yeah. That that's, that's the point the that point. we would need to and, get. And, and anyone who's, I'm getting will, who's willing to go through with one, they should be required to sit and see what is actually involved and encompassed with that. Because I think it's so easy to be emotionally detached from the argument when you're someone like Adam who doesn't even view it as a life. Yeah. You're able to separate yourself no. from it mentally. But if you actually no, understand, I, I, didn't, I didn't say I don't process. see it as a life. And that's why Planned I mean, Parenthood. At what point does it become a life? Okay. And, that's the and do you guys believe in reincarnation say, too? Because that's a big thing with this too: is that you act like a soul that's you, killed is never uh, going to rise again. But there's a lot of evidence to show oh, that. Oh, so there's, there's, there's you're two. Right, you're right. Let's kill our kids because maybe we have a better right, well, life. Two ways to, it. I'm it's ways evil to, to tell determine when it abortion becomes. If they feel like it, they need to. It is Listen, not evil. How word. is it evil to tell somebody not to kill their kid? You just okay for whoever missed that because there was a lot of talking. It's evil to tell somebody in a bad situation. In a okay, sorry. To, okay, that makes it better. Okay, it's evil to tell somebody in a bad situation. Yes. To not get an abortion. Yes. That's what's evil. Yes. Not, if, if, not, if it's gonna be a fatherless home where the kid, they don't have money and the kid doesn't have a father. Guys, are, yes. are we out of some our minds? Some of the most incredible, no, 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 incredible oh inspirational people have been born out of dire circumstances, and, and it, those are the people that actually. Help inspire others. Yeah, no, it's great. They're anomalies. Amy's, no, yeah. and to Amy's point, the fact is we're putting a Band-Aid, a murderous Band-Aid, on a cultural problem because the system has incentivized women to not get yeah, married. Okay, welfare. So that situation, we should fix it by killing our kids. This idea of saying, you just said the words, it is evil to not let someone get an abortion yeah, so they if they're in a bad situation. Yeah. It is evil to murder. Yeah, and I more, agree with that too. murder your That's innocent simple. child. It, Brandon. But it's their help. evil though. You know, they should have the choice to make that decision if they want to. It's not society's choice. I mean, well, why is it society's murder. choice that it's illegal to, that someone should get locked up for murdering somebody? I mean, it, I, I completely agree. But we live, I, we I live under know. societal norms that yeah. murder is wrong. Guys, Adam. I mean, I honestly, let Laura? me let me cap it up. No. Let me cap it up. Laura? I pray okay. that when you become a father one day, you make the responsible choice to have that child, to keep yeah. that child, and it changes your life forever, and you change your mind about this entire thing. And I, I honestly, I hope that that happens for you. The moment that you see your kid on the ultrasound, and you're going to be amazed how fast that happens. Yeah, no, I'm sure you're right. And listen, I hate abortion. It's a disgusting thing. It's a sad anytime it happens, but I think that it's the worst of two evils is to tell somebody they can't do it if they feel like they need to. And that's exactly what I pray you change your mind about, because it is evil to kill your child anytime ever. Period. Well, I'll yeah. tell you this. Thank you guys for that spirited debate. Mm -hmm. 